G'day. In this week's video, we're going to look at some of the, uh, the proposed changes that came out in the budget uh, a couple of weeks ago and the impact that's going to have in some of our advice. Now, please remember this is proposed changes only. They're, you know, they're, they're not law as yet. Um, but the one with regards to superannuation, and you'll, everyone will remember the non-concessional contributions where you could put in $180,000 per financial year or bring two financial years forward and put in five hundred and forty dollars in that one financial year. So quite a bit of flexibility on how much money we can put in. They're now proposing that that is just a $500,000 lifetime cap. So that's it, all we get is individuals. So it gets me thinking about strategies, you know, if it is implemented, what we do with it. And a lot of the advice we're giving now, we're sort of taking that into account already. That, um, and that was any contributions back to the 1st of July 2007 through to budget night, if you're already over that $500,000, you can't put any more money in. They're not asking you to take it out. Um, but if you do any more after budget night, then you may have to actually take the money out. So it gets me thinking about how people may look to use that $500,000 know, in the most efficient way possible. So I think about um, this is probably more uh, you know, important for, say, business people that, or particularly farmers in our area, area where there's a lot of farmers, that if we've got, let's say, um, $500,000 worth of, uh, of farming land, and this can be a, a business property, you know, a shed, somewhere you've ran your business for many years, or someone runs their business from, um, or you can have cash of $500,000. So if we've got a farm that's lucky enough to have you know, half a million dollars worth of, uh, of, of nice farming land or a business property, and he's also got some cash, and we think, right, we'd like to save some tax, um, you know, what asset do we look at? And this is a bit of a, a live case study as well that we're working on that we're always going to go for the land. And of course, this depends on a lot of circumstances, um, personal circumstances for the client and depending how close they are to retirement. So obviously this is all personalized um, when we give advice, but if someone's wanting to save tax, we may look to transfer the land into a, a self-managed superannuation fund you know, this land you know, may create a, a magnificent lease of $30,000 per year to the business, which will save significant tax. So if we compare that to uh, $500,000 that's sitting in cash, and we might say, well, that goes to you know, the self-managed super fund or just any superannuation fund in general. Um, you know, obviously, we know what's happened to cash rates at the moment. Cash rates are coming down and could come down further and I believe will be down for a long time. Let's say they're getting 3%. So there's 15 grand um, that was being taxed in their own names um, is now gonna be taxed at 15%. So that's a tax saving. But what I'm saying is this is a much more um, efficient tax saving uh, strategy. So if we've got the choice between the two, um, and we don't want to waste this $500,000 lifetime non-concessional cap. We're going to look at you know, probably the business assets where we can create a lease and get a lovely deduction uh, for the business each year. And perhaps one of the reasons why they've brought into, uh, you know, brought this proposal um, out is, is about restricting how much you know, of these type of strategies we can do in the future. Um, and also it also puts a hold on recontribution strategies as, uh, as well, which potentially limits the amount of tax on death. Um, so anyhow, I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah, a lot of changes, you know, I've said these are proposed only and all these are recommendations, uh, you know, or they're not recommendations, it's general advice only and you've got to seek, uh, you know, personal financial advice before moving ahead with uh, this type of strategies. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up please, really appreciate if you do that for me and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.